Hello, my name is Val Cummins and I'm a senior lecturer in University College Cork in the School of Biological Earth and Environmental Science. Well, I suppose first and foremost, it's been an extraordinary privilege to work um, on the marine environment. It was the allure of the sea over 25 years ago that led me to, to Cardiff to pursue an undergraduate degree in marine geography. And I've spent my career um, in marine science uh, working on research initiatives, uh, particularly on the research to impact area uh, close to the policy dimension, looking at subjects like integrated coastal zone management, coastal governance and marine resource management. Um, fast forward to today and the kinds of projects that I'm really interested in uh, actively researching on include projects relating to um, the potential of offshore wind as a blue economy resource in Ireland um, and as diverse as working as part of an international team studying issues around uh, food security and climate change in very uh, vulnerable small island nations in Micronesia. Maybe it's that uh, STEM jobs are um, boring research jobs or perhaps it's about being stuck in a, in a laboratory. Um, well, certainly that is not the case. Um, in the School of Bees where I work, we have researchers doing amazing laboratory-based work um, dedicated to understanding the marine environment um, on topics such as uh, looking at fish behaviour or fish genetics or, or maybe looking at shellfish health and a whole host of other uh, research topics. Um, but in the marine area, there's an opportunity to move beyond the laboratory too. And I think that's what's particularly exciting about STEM in the marine. And there's a very, very attractive fieldwork dimension, whether it's being at sea, for example, on the national vessels, such as the Celtic Explorer or the Celtic Voyager, or whether it's working um, at or, or on the coastline, uh, doing all kinds of different uh, monitoring and observation activities, um, from observation, for example, of seabird, abundance and distribution through to engaging um, in social science based research and dealing with multiple communities uh, whether it is civil society stakeholders such as fishers or navigators or marine tourists um, through to government departments and agencies and also the marine industry from the ports, shipping, renewables, fishing and other sectors as well. Um, so there's huge diversity in relation to a STEM job associated with the marine, whether it's the laboratory, whether it's in the field, or whether it's engaging with the multiple stakeholders that make the marine environment a really fascinating place to observe and study. Uh, well, it's really important to have diversity in STEM um, for many, many reasons. Scott Page from Princeton University talks about the diversity bonus, where he has proven how diversity in companies, for example, can lead to um, advantages in relation to the, the bottom line. Uh, so, for example, with regards to profit margins. But it goes much more beyond impact on industry. Diversity is important for so many reasons. And we can think about diversity in STEM from the point of view of cognitive diversity um, and cultural diversity. Uh, so cognitive diversity means we're bringing together the different types of knowledges, experience, perspectives, tools and skills. And cultural diversity is about bringing together different gender, race and so on. Um, no one scientific discipline has all of the answers. And in an increasingly complex world, it's extremely important um, that we consider the opportunity to achieve much better diversity and representation, um, particularly in the marine area as we go forward. I think my favourite thing about my job is the um, opportunity to, to work um, with um, the marine environment, which has been a huge passion of mine um, from the very, very beginning. Um, but more importantly, I think what I particularly love is working at the interface between research and impact and having the opportunity to make sure that the studies or uh, the projects that we undertake and get involved in um, have got that ability to, to impact, for example, in relation to how society moves forward. And in an Irish context, that's very much about realising the opportunity from the marine environment in relation to what's termed the Blue Growth Agenda. So it's very much about using science to develop policy that will lead to more sustainable use of marine resources and innovation in a marine context. I would say to young girls considering STEM roles um, to go for it. Um, 
I, I think that it can be a real challenge at a young age to decide on a particular subject or, or discipline. Um, but I, I think that what you need to do is to think about science, technology, engineering, maths, and indeed the arts, because that speaks to that diversity point uh, that we mentioned earlier on. To, take, to, to think about um, those subjects and those subject areas as a stepping stone, uh, as an opportunity to build a foundation um, and to spread your wings from there.